Hi people, Daniel from Devil and Sons Guitars here and today we're asking the question, what are locking tuning pegs? So just to start with the obvious, tuning pegs, machine heads, tuners, whatever you want to call them, are the parts at the top of the guitar that we use to tune the strings with. But what makes them locking? You'd be forgiven for thinking that a locking tuner meant it locked your string into an exact pitch and the note didn't change. But actually what the locking tuner does is it locks the string in place to stop the string slipping. There are a number of things that can affect your guitar to make it go out of tune. Over time as you play with it, the string can lose its tensile strength from being basically worn down and this could alter the pitch. The just temperature of the room around you as you're moving your guitar in and out, if it's in a room which is hot in the day, cold at night, those general changes in temperatures cause natural flux in the guitar. They cause the wood to warp and to change, which is a common thing to happen and not something to worry about. And that would also cause your string tension to change. As you're playing, you might find that screws and things start to loosen a bit. Anything can really affect your tuning. In fact, I've got a video about daily maintenance to help you check that none of these things are happening. But one of the main things is the string slipping. That's why when we put the strings on the guitar, we try our best to make sure that the way we tie it through the tuning peg means it's not gonna slip at all. Because when you're playing with it, you're putting that tension, that pressure on it, you're pulling the string through the tuning peg and that slight slippage can change the tone. That's why when you're playing you might find your strings are going out of tune sometimes. If you subscribe to my channel I'm going to make a video about different ways of putting on your strings, six different alternatives, one for each string and the locking tuner I think is one of the best ways to make sure there's no slipping at all. I have got a quick question to ask you so do let me know below, do you use locking tuners and what do you think of them? Here I've got the necks from two guitars I'm working on at the moment. A Shattercaster, one of those series of guitars I make with the broken mirror on it, and this one, which was a custom job for Dr. Gothic, the second guitar I've made for him, and it's a baritone guitar. But they both have tuners, but they both lock in different ways. One on the back, one on the front. Let's have a close look at them both. So here on the Shattercaster, the tuning pegs lock from above. So you put the string through the hole, and then it's got a slot for a screwdriver. Just tighten it and then you can see that the string is fully locked in place. Viewed from above here you can see the hole where the string slot screw. And essentially as you tighten this you can see the hole is getting a bit smaller until when it's screwed all the way down there is no hole there at all. So that's basically how the string gets compressed or pinched between the top part of the tuning peg and the main part of the body. If I unscrew it all the way, you can see that the top part, the part with the hole in, comes off. And that's the part that's going to get the bottom half of the string pinched against it. The top half being on the inside of this, which is threaded to fit on there. In this shot, you can just about see where the, the thread is on the inner part of the tuning peg that matches up with the thread on the inside of the top part so they screw together. Now the locking tuning pegs on the Dr. Gothic baritone are a bit different. This time the string goes through the top hole as it would with a normal, normal tuning peg but to tighten it you don't turn the top bit which on the strap meant the whole hole turning round so you really need to pull tight on the string and make sure it's not slipping. On this one, it's the underside that has a peg that turns. So I can turn that over and just tighten this. And when that's tightened and I turn it back, the string is held tightly in place. So it's locked in place. So here's a tuning peg like the Dr. Coffee one out of the body. You can see the hole in the top where the string passes through. Well, what we're going to look at is how it tightens. So as I tighten the wheel at the back, you can see that hole is getting smaller and smaller until it's not there anymore. So that's how we pinch the string in place. And the way that works is this wheel, which as it opens up, can unscrew all of the way out. And you'll see that it actually contains on it a pole that goes up through the entire body. And it's that which goes up to pinch the string in place. 
and looking closely here you can see that the top of this is actually threaded and the rest is smooth and then it's maybe hard to see here but this bit which is now exposed also has a thread in it and that thread matches up with the top of the pole so when it slides through and we screw it down it holds it in place with now the sh smooth bit of the pole going up and blocking up the hole as we tighten it. Personally I prefer the locking tuner which is the style that you have on the Dr Gothic because when you tighten at the back and the pin goes through to hold the string in place the hole that the string goes through on the top remains in one place whereas the ones like on my Shattercaster look pretty cool but as you're tightening them the string the hole turns and so it's a little bit more fiddly but it's not that hard to use. If you like this video do like and subscribe because I'm going to be putting up lots more videos in the next few months focusing on similar types of things looking at the, the differences between different types of necks, scale lengths, the way guitars work and looking at lots of other parts of the guitar. But the best thing you can do to support me is to share this video with people that you think might be interested and help spread the word. I'm on other social medias, Instagram, Facebook are the main two. Until next time, happy strumming.